Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. This is another review for Real Housewives of Atlanta. This is season 12, episode 14, Lion, Tigers, and Shade. So jumping right in, we get this whole little montage um, of Cynthia and Nene. And Nene is talking about how close she and Cynthia used to be and how toe up she is about, you know, their friendship kind of changing and you know for the worse so we get to see all i don't even know why we spend the first like 10 minutes of the show on that because they made it seem like it was like you know we were gonna lead up to something big but it wasn't um then we see nene at swag she helping this lady out with some clothes and uh marlo comes in and she notices um a bottle of wine on the table you know with a card or whatever and that's from cynthia cynthia sent over a bottle and she's extending an olive branch you know she wants to meet with nini and marlo reads the card um but nini you know she's appreciative of the fact that you know of the gesture and she'll go and hear cynthia out um marlo and nini end up leaving and it's like you're just gonna leave it's just like okay can you take care of this i done done my filming in here for the day I done made it look like I work here for the day. <laughs> All right, I'm out. You got it. <laughs> and Nene and Marlo leave. And in the car, um, Nene is just telling Marlo, you know, how regretful she is of, you know, how things have gone so bad um with all the ladies and she wants to um you know she's and she made it seem like i have this brunch all the time this sisterhood brunch i want to have this brunch with the rest of the ladies so i want to extend the olive branch to them as well um so that we can meet for lunch but i want everybody to wear um animal print apparently that's the theme every time and she does this often that's it's news to everybody it is news to everybody then um kenya we see her she's at home her in brooklyn kenya's cooking dinner um and then cynthia drops by and um cynthia said that she had put kenya on ice you know after the whole cookie lady fiasco and um kenya just straight up throwing cynthia under the bus so cynthia ain't talked to her in a week and um, she still ain't over it, you know. So she's still on some, yeah, girl, we cool and all. I'm over here and I am and I got your daughter in my lap. But make no mistake about it, I don't like what you did with our last encounter. I don't, I ain't like none of that. You threw me under the bus. It wasn't right. And she said all of that in a prayer. She wanted to say the prayer. And, and she, you know, said what she needed to say to her in the prayer. Um. Then, uh... Cynthia brings up Mike's cheating to Kenya. She brings it up. She's like, you know, they had that um, that party and he has all these female friends and she's not sure whether or not, you know, she can trust him because he has cheated on everybody else. So what makes her different? And Kenya's like, well, in my opinion, I want to say once a cheater, always a cheater, but she feels like therapy could help, you know, get down to the root of why he does this. Cause it's obviously if it's, if it can't be all these other women, it, something has to be going on with him. So therapy might help with that. Um, then we see Eva, she's at Dr. Jackie's. They're checking on the baby. Baby's good. Um, we see Riley and Candy, they're shopping <laughs> And Riley picks up some, I don't, I don't, I think it was a skirt. She picked up something and Candy is like, um, that's a little skimpy. And Candy, meanwhile, Candy got on a whole mesh top with just a bra underneath. So Riley's like, girl, look at you talking to me like that. I mean, hey, pot, I'm kettle. I, I can see your whole breast, mom. <laughs> so they laughed that off. And, you know, I'm sure Riley was able to get that little piece of clothing. Um... Portia at home with PJ and Diane. We see that. These are, you know, when they, you know, bopping around. Everybody's showing little short little um, clips of everybody. Nene and Greg, they in their role playing how Nene um, and Cynthia are going to um, interact with one another. And um, I think Greg was Cynthia. Greg was Cynthia. And, you know, she was Nene. <laughs> it was funny. Um, I'm, Greg can always make light of a situation like that. Um, then Cynthia 
And um wait. Oh, Cynthia was waiting for um uh, she was at her wine cellar and she calls she always calling Eva right before it's about to be some mess. When Eva's not gonna be, you know, in the place. So she called Eva, you know, talking to her. I'm about to meet up with Nene, you know. Pray for me, girl. I'm going in here. <laughs> or, you know, no, actually, she's about to be here because they were at, um, they were in Cynthia's comfort zone. Um, Nene gets there, and they hug, and they fake, or whatever. They sit down, um, and then they get right to it. Um, Nene pretty much wants Cynthia to take the blame for everything. She's pretty much like, I want you to take the fall on this. Because all I did was one interview to your, what she say, eight. To your eight interviews, I only did one. And what you said was hurtful. She, Nene, is so hurt by, you know, being called the toxic friend. Well, if you're the toxic friend, then you're just a toxic friend. Now you know. So, you know, do something different. I don't understand. I don't, she was, <laughs> I don't understand. And Cynthia ain't backing down. Cynthia's like, listen, girl, I done told you. I didn't apologize for what I did and my part in this. I am not, you are not about to get me to own up to everything because I didn't, everything isn't my fault. Um, and then, uh, Cynthia, she, she, she says something, I don't know, but something goes left a little bit. And Cynthia was just like, listen, I, I, it just is what it is. You know, I'm not apologizing for nothing. I don't think that I did anything to hurt you. I wasn't out here trying to intentionally hurt you. I, Cynthia feels like she was being reactive. Um, and Nene was like, okay, girl, get your moment. No, it's not a moment. But if you're going to give me a moment, well, I'll take it. And, you know, Nene wasn't ready for that. <laughs> and so, or, I don't know. I was about to say, Nene just, you know, she's on her, you know, Iyanla fixed my life. She's not, you know, doing these kind of things no more. She ain't about to be going back and forth for people. Because the old Nene would have, you know, just went at her like she used to do Sheree. Because you know how she is when she, you know, man, with her friends. She drag them. She, um, you know, always talking about them in an interview. Always got something negative to say about them. You can't even tell that she was friends with that person. And Cynthia brought that to her attention. Um, and, and Nene just gets up and walks out. It done got hot in the kitchen, so now she's walking out. And Cynthia sits there for a minute, but we know Cynthia isn't going to stay there. Of course, she's going to get up and go out there and see about her friends. So that's what she does. And Nene turns her back to her. It's, it's just that she sniffled her whole way through that whole scene. I was like, girl, if you sniff one more, give her some tissue or something. Let her blow her nose. She's just so distraught and toe, toe up over nothing. No, lady, you head and go ahead and take your moment because that's what that was. Nene loves to do that. She, I've, I've, I think that she does this anytime, you know, there's nothing left to do. Okay, I'm just going to run away and I'm going to cry. And then everybody's going to crowd around me and make me, you know, feel better about, you know, me being petty. And, you know, just, I don't know. It's just, Nene loves, this This is the position she, she ends up in a lot. You know, everybody um, crowded around her and comforting her. When she the one that stirred up all the mess in the first place. But, um, you know, Cynthia goes out there and Cynthia ends up apologizing and she grovels and she does exactly what Nene expected her to do. Now everything is off of Nene and now it's all on Cynthia because it's like, you made her cry. Like, how could you? That lady ain't slick. But anyway, that scene is over with. Um, and then we see um, Marlo, she's getting ready for Nene's party and um she calls Portia and you know she's like did you get the invitation Portia's like yeah I got the invitation I'm a you know I ain't gonna be there 
I mean, I don't, I'm trying to figure out what she invited me for because we ain't friends. I'm not going. I won't be there. No, because her little invitation was shady anyway. <laughs> she said something about we be lying. She tried to do a play on words. Like, of course, she spelled lying like the animal lying. And um, uh, she she wants everybody to dress in animal print. They went over the little um, invitation. Portia felt like it was shady and a bit of, you know, um, heavy shade on there on that invitation. And she felt like it was towards her. I don't know why, but she did. Um, she just ain't feeling Nene. They're not really cool. So she don't she don't see why she got an invitation in the first place. But she did, and she still ain't going. So then we see um, Eva and um, Cynthia. They ride together to Nene's party. And while they're in the car, Cynthia's telling um, Eva about her sit down with Nene and, you know, all of that that went down and how Nene cried. And, you know, they then came to a mutual understanding that, you know, they cordial. And that's just about it. Um, and when they arrive at Nomas Cantina, and I love that place. I love that place. I went there. I've, I've been there a few times, but my first time going there was for my 25th birthday. I had a birthday dinner there. They have really good food and really good drinks. Really good drinks. But anyway, um, when they arrive at the restaurant, Eva, you know, is slow getting out the car because she's having contractions. And I feel like she said like every 10 or 11 minutes she was having them. But she um, was having those contractions. And, you know, so she went in and sat down. Um, Candy pulled up. You know, Candy sees Eva, you know, it's kind of like, are you okay? Because she ain't looking good. Um, and Candy's like, well, did you call Dr. Jackie? So they call Dr. Jackie, and Dr. Jackie tells her to just go to the hospital. Eva don't want to go to the hospital. She's like, well, okay, well, Candy, I can let, I can, you know, walk you through <laughs> how to deliver a baby. Candy's like, uh-uh. Well, you get to the hospital then, girl. So Cynthia um, volunteers to take Eva to the hospital and, you know, they go on and go to the hospital. Um, Candy stays. And while they're leaving, Tanya pulls up. So Tanya's there. Um, and it's Tanya and Can Candy there for like, I want to say them people was like two and three hours late. Um, while they're sitting there, Kenya pulls up and Kenya shows up and comes in there. And gives Candy a hug and a kiss on her cheek. And she's all extra. And she, all she do, <laughs> all she got to give Tanya is... Hi. <laughs> she is so petty. She is so petty. <laughs> but she sits down for 10 minutes. Where's Nene? I mean, is she going to show up anytime soon? Like, I I ain't got time for this. And so she just gets up and leaves. Um, then Nene comes in and it says that she's three hours late. So Nene gets there and... Um, when she gets there, she she I guess she's like, oh it's okay that lady's like I have my I have my friends here and she bring in a few guests a few patrons <laughs> that's that's already there you know eating their food y'all done y'all done interrupted them people's nice family family meals and date date nights and whatever have you and a drug them people upstairs just to film this little scene cause ain't Nene did not know them people. She did not know those women. Ain't no way in the world. Them, them people didn't even look like they was finna be at somebody's brunch. You know, they looked like they had already been there eating their dinner or eating their lunch with their families. And y'all said, hey, we shooting Real Housewives of, um, of Atlanta right now. And we want to kind of do something fun with the scene. Um, sign this sign this little, uh, <laughs> this little agreement. Um... So we can put your face on the TV. Thanks. That's all that was. Nene did not know them people and everybody knew it. Um, because who, I think Marlo came in. Yeah, Marlo came in and you know, she walking, looking around, everybody looking like, who are these people? Because Candy was like, who are these, who are these women? And Nene talking about she, oh, I have the brunch all the time. You do? I don't never get no invite. <laughs> Anytime I, I do invite you, you just don't come. Nah, girl, you ain't invited me to no brunch. No, you know, no theme brunch where we have to wear animal print every single time we do this little sisterhood brunch. Okay, lady. Um, 
Marlo comes and when she sits down, she tells um, Nene that Portia's not going to be there. You know, then, then Nene start going in. You know, when people don't want to support you, it's okay because I've extended the olive branch. I've done my part. And when people don't blah, 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 blah. And when people don't this and people don't that, Portia walking right through the door. And Tane's like, oh my God, speak of the devil. Wow. It's Portia. Oh, Portia come in there and Portia like, yeah, I'm here. Portia and Shamia, they come together. Um, you know, so I, I thought you weren't going to come. I thought you weren't going to be here. Yeah, I wasn't. But I decided to come on. My mama, you know, convinced me to come. Lauren convinced me to come. I talked to my other friends. They convinced me, you know, why not? What's the hurt in coming? Especially since you sent, you know, the invitation. So I'm here. Um, you know, and then uh, Nene and Portia start talking and Candy gets a call and it's Eva. Um, and so they kind of mute that conversation that um, Nene and Portia are having. And all we can hear is Candy's phone conversation with Eva. And Eva was saying that her she's one centimeter dilated, you know, which is not anything. The baby would not be coming that day. Um, and I kind of figured that. I was, in, I was like, she even had this baby. <laughs> this is, you know, some hype for the next episode. She is not finna have this baby. Um, but she was one centimeter dilated. Um, Cynthia ended up um, leaving her there um, because, you know, Michael came. So Eva's good. Um, and, you know, Nene, you know, made a toast, of course, and, you know, to sisterhood and this, that, and the third. I'm just like, who are these sisters you got sitting at the table? So two of them got on their shades, ain't took them off. Like, these people do not know you, Nene. And and I'm sure some of them probably don't even watch the show. <laughs> but y'all needed a scene. Y'all needed a scene, so I guess. Um, and then they end that out there. Um, yeah, that's it. That's it for that episode. That wasn't the it. The Real Housewives hasn't been. I don't know. It's just something about it this season. It ain't really. It ain't really doing it for me. Like, not to say I want them to be knocked down, drag out all the time or fighting all the time. I don't know. I like when they go on trips and when they travel. So they need to go on another trip because, you know, that's when they be having the most fun. And, you know, it comes off on the television. So anyway, that's it, you all. I will be back next week. Uh, well, yeah, next week for another Housewives review. Um, maybe something will be going on on the next one because this one didn't have nothing much going on. Be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe to the channel. The channel is Call Me Busby, and I'll talk to y'all later. Peace and light.